So today we will see we have few state machine in hand like uh, that is already available with you. Now in our course, our scope is if you have some state machine in hand, how to make the circuit for that, right? How to create the state machine for a particular problem that is not in our scope in this moment. So you will see that uh, in our upcoming K, uh, course that is in the theory of computation or theory of automata where you will able to make the state machine for a particular problem. Right? But uh, in our course we will see if you already have that state machine in hand how to make the circuit for that so that you can utilize it and uh, uh, you can say solve any problem. So let's start with the mod 3 circuit that we already seen in the last lecture, right? So in case of mod 3 circuit, so it's a quick revision so that uh, you will be able to recall the things and then we have two more examples in that direction. In the mod 3 circuit, you can see you have states here. So S0 state is 00, S1 state is 01, S2 state is 10, right? So let me write the state value here 00, 01, and 10, right? Now, this particular state machine is already available for you. Now we have to make the circuit. So, in order to make the circuit, what you have to do, the very first thing you have to make a state table for this circuit. Now, what will be the component for this state table? That will be the your input, what input we are getting, and your state value. So let me say it's a QB. Uh, let me say it's a QA and QB. Right. So let me let me take in the like similar manner as we have done previously. So it will be QB and Q. So that the equation will remain same. Right. This is the first thing. What is the input? Then QB and QA value. Why we require two QB and QA? Because you have two bits in the state. So we require two flip-flop and every flip-flop represented by one Q value. Next, what we are looking forward, we are looking forward QB plus one value and QA plus one, right? Now, suppose I'm making using D flip flops, so you will figure out what will be the DB value and what will be the DA value. So first let's quickly fill this input and uh, QB and QA combination. So zero, 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 one. Oh. Guys, could you meet mute? Then zero one zero zero one 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 zero zero one zero one. One one zero one one one. Now, what is this? These two are the state information, and this is the input. Right now, you'll figure out once you have state information zero zero means the first state, and when you got input zero, so what will be the next state? You can easily figure out once the state information is zero zero and input is also zero, it will remain in the same state. So we'll say its value will be zero zero. Next, when you have zero one state and your input is zero, so you will reaching to the S two state. So we'll say here you have one zero. Once you are in S two state and your input is zero. So where you are you going? You are going to the S1 state. It's clearly mentioned here, right? So you'll say 0, 1. Now 1, 1 state doesn't exist in our diagram. So you can say this will be a don't care for us. 
Similarly, for 0, 0, if you are in 0, 0 state and input is 1, so you can figure out if input is 0, 0, uh, sorry, if state is 0, 0 and input is 1, so you'll reach to the 0, 1. So you'll write 0, 1. When we have 0, 1 state, we are in the 0, 1 state and input is 1, so you're back to the 0, 0. When we are in the 1, 0 state and input is 1, so you will remain in the 1, 0 state. So 1, 0 state. And again, 1, 1, that doesn't exist. Now, based on QB and QB plus 1, we can easily find out the value of DB and DA. Right? So DB value, we, in case of D flip flop, the good part is whatever the QB plus 1 value, that will become your DB value. So in next state value will become your db value. So you can easily fill 0, 1, 0, x, 0, 0, 1, and x. Similarly, here you will fill 0, 0, 1, x, 1, 0, 0, x. Right. Now, this is your mod 3 circuit diagram, uh, mod 3 circuit state table. Now what next we have to find out, we have to find out simply uh, the equation for DA, right? Equation for DA and that equation will be the function of X, QB and QA. Similarly, we'll find out equation for dB, which will again function of x, qb, and qa. So in order to find this function, you can simply use the k map and determine the function. So let's do that. So here, let me take dA and quickly make a k map. Right, so, okay, let me first do for dB, so that will be in the sequence. So, 0, 1, 0, x, 0, 0, 1, x. So, now we can easily figure out, here we have two pairs. So, let me quickly fill this, x bar x. P bar, A bar, B bar, A, B A, B A bar. So the DB equation will be, so in, in case of this, so we have one pair here and one pair here. So your equation will become X bar and uh, QA plus X QB. Now, similarly, you will make a K map for DA. So, you will simply make a K map for DA. Here you have X bar X and you will take all DA values. So, 0, 0, 1 x 1 0 0 x so now you can figure out like this will be singleton and this will be pair right so you will make equation accordingly so here we have a pair and here we have singleton value so the equation will be the a equation will be so it will be x Q A bar, Q B bar, plus X bar, Q B, right? Now next, what you will do, you will simply make the circuit where we have D B input will be X bar Q A plus X Q B, and D A input will be X Q A bar, Q B bar, X bar and Q B. In that way, you are able to make the mod 3 circuit, right? Anyone, any doubt till this point? Guys, any doubt till this point?
No, sir. OK, now suppose I want to make the same circuit or you can say same state machine for the division as well. So this is currently give you the mod 3, right? Mod of 3. Now I want to find out divide by 3 or not. So if it is divide by 3, your output will be 1. And if it is divide, not divide by 3, your output will be 0. This also I'm looking forward from the state diagram or you can say from the circuit to tell the answer if it is divisible by 3 completely then the answer will be 1 and if it is not divisible by 3 then the answer will be 0. So then what modification you will do? You will simply make output of this state 1 because once it reaches in this state means your mod value is 0 0 means it is divisible. And if it is in the second state reaching to the second state, definitely it is not divisible. And if it is reaching to this state, this is also not divisible. So now this, this modification will help you to find out the number is divisible or not divisible. Right. So if your output is one, which is written in the green, so you can say this will represent your output information in the form of Y, let's say. Right. So if your y value is 1, it means it is divisible. If your y value is 0, it means it is not divisible. So it, what we can do, we can find out another y as a output. Now you can fill this information from the state diagram. Just you have to fill that uh, if it is reaching to the 0, 0 state, means if your qb and Q, qb plus 1 and qa plus 1 is 0, 0, it means it has output 1. Otherwise, it has output 0. If you are in the again 0, 0 state, so this will be 0. And if you are reaching to this state, 0, 0 state in QB plus 1 and QA plus 1, it means it is divisible. So you will write this 1, then 0, then x. Guys, any doubt on this part? Because this is added here. Now I'm looking forward for the division as well. Is that number is divided by 3 or not? If it is divided, then answer should be 1. If it is not divided, answer should be 0. So I have added a output information into the state. So now you have three different values that will give you some information. If you are looking for the mod information, then you look into the state value. If you are looking for the division information, that particular value number is divis divisible or not by three, then you look for the state output information. So now once we have output, then definitely you need to find out the equation for y as well. So let me find out the equation for y here. So again, you will use a k map to find out the equation for y. Right. So here you will have 1, 0, 0, x. Then we have 0, 1, 0, x. Right. Any doubt till this point? Guys, any doubt till this point? Excuse me, sir. Yes. So if the in the question it is given, we have to make division by two with mod three. No, it's it then you have two different state machine. So can't we take zero zero two zero zero one for S2 it will be one and rest will be zero? Then how how you will say like you are saying S2 will be zero. So green one will be one. S2 will be zero, so that is already zero. No, sir, one, one. This will you want to make as one. And sir, rest as zero. Okay, so you are saying S2 will be zero means state one, zero will become one, right? Are you saying that? Yes, sir. Suppose you have number five. You will take mod by 3. Yes, sir. 
answer will be two, but it is not divisible by two. Yes, sir. So okay. it will not work. Actually, mod same number mod and division can go in one state diagram, but two different numbers means two different state machines. Definitely, when you say divide by two, in that case you will have only two states. As zero and as one, one value is zero zero, another is zero one only. Right. So suppose you have to find out number is even or odd. So then you have only two states. One is zero zero state, another is zero one state. Like one zero yes. state will not be there. So that's why it will not work out. You need a separate state machine for that. Okay, sir. Yeah. Guys, any doubt on this? No, sir. Okay. So now let's let's find out the equation for y as well. Right. So equation for y equal to. So now you can figure out here we have again one pair. And this you cannot make pair, so it will be single turn only. So you will write the equation. Y equal to, so let me take first this. So X bar, QB bar, QA bar, plus X, QA. Right. Got it, everyone? Any doubt on this? No, sir. Right. Now let me take all these three equations to make the circuit. Right. In the next page, so that we can draw a circuit. So here we have dA, we have dB, and we have y. So let me take one y one. D A X Q A bar Q B bar X bar Q B X Q A bar Q B bar plus X bar Q B D B is X bar Q A and X Q B X bar Q A plus X Q B. Right. And y is x bar q bar q p bar x q a. So x bar q a bar q p bar plus x q a. Now we have to find out the circuit for that. So definitely we, are, we can easily figure out like we require two d flip flop. You have taken one d flip flop here and another d flip flop here. Right now, here we have input, output, input, output of these D flip flops. Definitely, we have a clock that is commonly connected. Now, one important thing So I have taken two NAND gate, two AND gate to make this. So it's let's say it's your DB, sorry, it will be your DB and this will be your DA. So now we have fixed this DA value. So that is your X bar QA X and QB. Now in case of DA, So here we have X QA bar QB bar X bar and QB. This will be your QA. This will be your 
QB. So this will be your output. Next. Now, instead of connecting all from here using the gates, I just use this format of the diagram where you can make that connection. So while so this diagram actually the representation of the your code or you can say while you will do the code, then this diagram will help you out to draw the code for that. So simply when you write the code, you can say, OK, X bar will go as input here. Q will go as input here. X will go as input here. QB will go as input. Here. So it is clearly visible from here. So it is not always compulsory like you will connect from here and make the messy diagram. You can make a simple diagram where you pass all the information. So with this diagram, you are able to pass all the information. You do not need to mess up the things. Right now, let's make a circuit for. Y. So we have two AND gates connected with a OR gate and the output will be Y and input will be X bar, QA bar, QB bar, X and QA. Now with this diagram, this Y will give you the division information and if you say QB and QA will give you the mod information and this will give you the division information. So now you got your entire circuit in hand. Anyone any doubt till this point? Does any doubt till this point? No, sir. Right. So now let's do so this is mod 3 division that we already solved. Now let's make a straight table for this. And uh, similarly, then we will derive the equation for this. Now what will be in the state table? Now here important point if you are able to compare this. With every input we do not have output. Output is associated with the state to the value. Now in this diagram here we have a output associated with the input value itself, right? So you will make sure you are doing that correctly. So here you have X that is the input. Q, QB, QA. Here we have QB plus one, QA plus one, DA, let's say sorry, DB, DA and your Y output. Now this Y output is coming from here. So this is representing your output. And this one is representing your input. Right? So let, let me fill first information so that will be 0, 0, 0. In that case, how you look forward, your state value is 0, 0. So you will go to this point. Input is 0, you will go to this point. And what is the next state? That is remain 0, 0. So you'll fill here. What is the y value? You can figure out from here the y value is 0. So you'll fill the y value. And as you already know, like db and da value will follow the dbq plus 1 and qa plus 1. So you can easily figure out this will be 0, 0. Now similarly, you will fill for all 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0 1, 1. 100, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1, 1. So now just take few minutes, let's say three, four minutes, and complete the state table and find out the equation. Just do it at your end. Are you doing it at your end? Yes, sir. Okay, cool.
सर यू आर म्यूटेड यस सर माइक ऑफ है आपका ओके दैट्स राइट व्हाई आई वाज आस्किंग आई थॉट नो वन इज आंसरिंग सर वही मैं सोचता था बोल रहे हो मतलब आप समझा रहे हो तब मैं पहले आ रही है ओके सो हैव यू डन एट योर इंड means this table anyone okay those do have done just just cross check oh, so here we have taken this zero one state that one state zero one state input is zero that we have seen input is zero so output will be zero and state will be zero zero so we have filled state next state will be zero zero output is zero and with the help of next state we fill the da db and da value now next is 10 state so this is the center one 10 state input is 0 that is given here output is 0 and state is 01 so state is 01 output is 0 so you can think, simply fill this information now when you have 11 state so as you can see we do not have any 11 state so that will become your don't care now when again you have 00 state like the first one and input is 1 so input is 1 So you are reaching to the one zero state, and output is zero. So state will be one zero, output is zero. Based on that, we will fill this information. Now next is zero <coughs> zero one state right here. You will take the value. Input is one. Input is one. Output is one, right? And you are reaching to the zero zero state. So you are in the zero zero state, and output is one. right next when you are in 10 state right in the center your input is 1 you will remain into the same state so 10 and your output will be 0 and your state will become sorry that will become 10 right now again 11 state we do not have so you will say it will be a don't care condition now what next we have to do we have to find out equation for these three as we have done previously and with the help of these equations you can make the circuit so can anyone done what is the equation for db da and y value sir db you... bar a q bar ax db equal to q bar q a bar q a bar q a bar x, x. and uh, da qb qa bar x bar qb qa bar x bar right and yes. sure so x x not x bar Okay. Just X. Can anyone confirm? It's problem over here. Because I can figure out these two can make pair. Because these two are consecutive value, so it means three literals will not come. Got it? so let me quickly do it so this will be 0 0 1 x then 0 0 0 0 so you can easily figure out we will have a pair so this will be x bar x b bar a bar b bar a b a B A bar, so this will be your D A. That will be X bar B. So that will be X bar Q B. So let me correct it. Hmm.
so this will be x bar q b let me quickly make for d b as well so that we can cross check is everyone has done correctly or not so 0 0 0 x 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 So here we have pair simply. So this is x x bar b bar a bar b bar a b a b a bar. So we'll have pair. So that will be x and q a bar. So this is actually correct. But it now what about y? So let me draw quickly k map for y as well. So this will be zero 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 x zero one zero x. So here also you can make a pair with one and x. Right. So this pair you have. So the equation will be. So the equation will be simply. Y equal to x q a. Anyone any doubt on this? Guys, any doubt on this? No, sir. No, sir. No. Right. Now, one. So this with this we can easily make the circuit for given state diagram. Any state diagram. Right. now let's look into this state diagram is really this state diagram how actually this state diagram is operating so let me copy this into the next slide so that Sir, you are muted. Sir, you are muted. Yes, yes, yes. Got it. So maybe few persons don't like my voice, so they muted me. Okay, sir. Please change the meeting settings. Yeah, it already done. Thank you. Okay. Is it visible to everyone now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, good. So now here it is a one zero one pattern detector. So what we have to figure out whenever this pattern will come, the output will be one. Otherwise, the output will be zero. So let's. try this pattern this input and see is really the correct output is coming or not and we have to start from this state so this is the starting point that was missing always it is represented like this this is the starting point right so now when you are in the zero zero state binisely and you got input zero you got input zero then what will happen so let me write here output and here i will write the state information so state let me say it's s0 s1 and s2 make sure s1 is 10 and s2 is 01 right so once you got this 00 0, where you will reach once you got this zero information zero input you will remain in s0 state and your output will be 1 0 so instead of saying your here i want to represent this out And state. So let me say here I will say it's state, and here I will say output value. 
So once you got zero zero input, you will reach into the same state. Let's say zero zero state, and your output. You can check out output from here. That will be zero output. Now again, you are remaining the state zero zero. That is the S zero state, and you got input one. So you got input one. Your output will be zero, and your state will be one zero. So your state will be one zero, and output will be zero. Now you are in this place. Now you got zero input. So once you got zero input, you will reach to the zero one state. So you will reach to the zero one state, and your output will be zero. Then right now you are in this state. You are taking input zero. So you are taking input zero. Output will be zero, and you are reaching back to the zero zero state. So you are in the zero zero state, and output will be zero. Then next, again you are somewhere here. And you are taking input one. So once you take input one, you will reach to the one zero state. So you will reach to the one zero state, and output will be zero. Then again, you are taking input zero. So that zero input, you are reaching to the zero one state. So here, you are in the zero one state, and output is zero. Now after that, once you reach one, so from here, you will reach one. So output will be one, and you are back to the zero zero. So you are in the zero state, and output will be one. Once you got this one, it means this pattern is detected. So one zero one pattern is detected here. Now again from here zero zero, so you will remain in the zero state again zero zero. You will remain into the same state. So in that way, your pattern detector is working. Any doubt on this, anyone? Guys, any doubt on this? Guys, any doubt? No sir, no, no sir. Good. So now we got a flow how to make a circuit of a state diagram. So the very first thing what you will do, you will make the state table. So you can say when given a state diagram. So first you will make the state table. Then you find out the equation for your flip flop input and output value. Then third you will make the circuit for with the help of these equations. So these are the three major steps to make. A circuit for a given state diagram. Anyone any doubt on this? So now, if you get any state diagram, can you make the circuit? Yes or no? Can you make the circuit for that? If you have given any state diagram? Yes, yes guys. Right. So now this you can check out with every input you have output. So this kind of machine is Miele machine. This is your Miele machine. And when you say like this, when you have output with the help of with the state but not associated with input, then this is your Miele machine. So we have seen both variety of machines and how to draw the circuit for that. So that's it for today. Any doubt? If you have, then we can discuss. Else, I'm done with today. Excuse me, sir. Yes. In 